Hi YouTube, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. You can find us on the web, caltoncutlery.com. Uh, today's uh, it's an alright day for the foundry. Uh, I've been working on this for, oh, about the last oh, week or so, trying to get my foundry to run on waste oil. And I'm having some pretty good success with it. I think um, I've got a couple of more uh, different things to try, and I think it'll, it'll work really good. So far, I've been able to get it to run on waste oil and run hot enough that I can melt uh, aluminum, um, break down some aluminum scrap, and uh, cast it into ingots. I haven't done a, a, a real, you know, like a, a, made like a project or anything with it yet. Um, but that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna show you, walk you through the setup that I've got going on right here, and then talk about some things that I think, uh, some problems I think I'm having. Um, and what I think might be able to fix that. But anyway, this is my, my normal foundry. And you can see it's just, uh, you know, one of the seven gallon uh, propane uh, bottles. And I cut the top off of it and um, welded in a, a holder pipe to the side. I think I've got another video on the, um, the construction of this. But anyway, what we've got is uh, a blower here and it's a 1.5 amp um, I can't remember how many rpm it turns but it's a uh, uh, secondary blower for a uh, home furnace it's the blower that clears out the combustion chamber before uh, your control valve kicks in your main fuel supply to, to actually you know start heating things up and it's just uh, duct taped and I've got a uh, uh, rubber fern co putting it to this uh, inch and a half pipe goes through a gate valve another inch and a half pipe an elbow another inch and a half pipe and then I uh, turned an aluminum collar there right there to uh, uh, just kind of make that a tighter seal drilled and tapped two holes uh, welded some handles onto some bolts so that it holds it in position so that's your air supply. Now the fuel supply, to start off with, uh, there's propane. And it's just going through a regular barbecue regulator. Down a hose, got a shutoff valve, you can see it's off. It's just running on straight waste oil right now. Uh, into a quarter inch line through a, a needle valve, elbowed down, and then this is a quarter inch nipple that's, uh, I punched a hole in this uh, inch and a half elbow, put the, the nipple through there, and then welded it up. Now the end of this nipple sticks out to about here or so. About there. And what I did there was, uh, for an orifice, I cut the threads off the end of the nipple before I welded it on, and then uh, tapped the inside of the pipe to accept a, uh, I think it's a 5 16 bolt uh, that has a hole drilled through the middle of it and so it makes it uh, a removable orifice so that you can go with a larger size or a smaller size if you want to. So that's the propane setup and it works really good. Uh, I have melted copper with it. Um, here pretty soon I'm going to try melting some, uh, some iron uh, but I haven't quite got to that point yet. Now the oil system that I have is an old oxygen bottle with the top cut off. And I drilled a hole here and tapped it for a quarter inch uh, pipe nipple. It comes out to an elbow, to a shutoff valve, and then just hose clamped onto a length of uh, clear plastic tubing. You can see there's the level in the tubing, so I've got a pretty good head pressure here going on. And then it goes down to a quarter inch gate valve and then that quarter inch nipple is welded into the uh, uh, the burner holder doohickey that goes into the, the foundry. A couple of handles. These handles right here are for picking up the whole foundry. These are just for uh, picking up the lid. It seems to be burning pretty good. Right now it's uh, running on some uh, old automatic transmission fluid. 
And I believe there's some water in that automatic transmission fluid because it's smoking a little bit more than what it was when I was running it on straight uh, uh, waste motor oil. And you probably won't be able to hear it through the camera, but when I get uh, pretty close to the foundry, I can hear some spitting and popping going on. And I think what that is, is, uh, is the moisture that's in the automatic transmission fluid is, uh, uh, you know, boiling out of it, and that's why I'm not getting a very good burn. The, uh, the soot that's around the top of the, the foundry right now, what that's from is uh, I was breaking down some stock and just just laying it on top of the foundry like that to heat it up. And then once it gets hot enough, then, um, then it breaks apart real easy. Now, you can see here that uh, the flame's starting to die down. I really don't think that it's liking this automatic transmission fluid, so we'll give it just just enough to where I could feel that valve move. Not even a quarter round or anything. Now, so the flame, when it's running on propane, I'm not sure how much of this you're gonna, the camera's gonna pick up, but that, uh, that tube comes in kind of at an angle so that I get a nice swirling effect with the propane. That works really good for propane, but I was having a heck of a time regulating this with that set up um, on waste oil and so uh, what I finally did was I put a plate just a quarter a piece of quarter inch uh, plate and put it to where the uh, the air fuel mixture coming in hit that plate and then got diverted to both sides and that really uh, mellowed the foundry out quite a bit on waste oil um, I think it's a little bit too long um, I can see in there that there's some gas that's coming up on the top of the plate and it's not going into the, the hot part of the foundry so I don't believe it's getting burned so I think that's uh, a little bit of the smoke that I've got going on. Um, but it is getting hot. Uh, I've got a piece of, just a piece of steel in here. And right now it's running on the cold side. That's just uh, kind of a dull red. But like I said, I think a lot of that has to do with this automatic transmission fluid. Um, I did have, so far the best I've had it run was either on 530 weight waste oil, or just a second ago I had some, uh, some waste oil. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was 1040, and I mixed in a little bit of old kerosene with it. And boy, it really seemed to like that. So. Uh, the changes I'm going to make here pretty soon, um, I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap and turn this from a quarter inch um, nipple to a half inch with a shutoff valve and a gate valve just to give me a little bit more control and then uh, probably take this uh, automatic transmission fluid, whatever's left, down to the recycling place because the foundry just doesn't seem to like it very much at all. Um, cut that uh, baffle plate that's on the end of the burner, cut it down a little bit so that I'm not having that, uh, that little bit of uh, gas come up the top and exit around the outside of the plate so high on the wall of the foundry. And, uh, and just keep playing with it. I might try to find a needle valve um, for a little bit more control on the, uh, you know, that control valve. But this particular foundry, this one here is uh, basically the tester. This one's supposed to be for, you know, actually casting projects and stuff. Now, this, uh, this same setup, because this, this is just a drip feed system. It's not, um, you know, it's not pressurized, it's not nothing. So, but it is showing me that this style of burner is going to work well enough. And there's a fellow on YouTube, uh, his handle is Oil Burner. He's an Australian, and the guy built some fantastic burners. And uh, the one that he's got that really interests me the most uh, is a scrapping furnace. Sets a 55 gallon barrel drum on end and then sticks one of these uh, 
sticks a really well kind of a large larger version of this into the mouth of it and he's melting down uh, intake manifolds uh, cylinder heads uh, just all kind of stuff which um, right now I'm working with some aluminum wheels I did test them with some vinegar uh, they didn't bubble so they don't have any magnesium in them but cutting these things up with a saw is really a pain in the butt. The aluminum galls up the teeth on your saws and, or your saw blade and you just go through saw blades like crazy. So um, the next furnace that I'm going to build with this technology is going to be one of those big scrapping furnaces out of a 55 gallon barrel. And it should be able to melt, you know, just grab a, a handful of those uh, aluminum alloy wheels and melt down whole wheels at a time and turn them into ingots and then bring them back here to the shop for little projects. Um, yeah, the waste oil seems to be doing um, really good. Um, it's a little bit more cantankerous than propane, but then again, I've worked with propane, you know, forges for, oh, about 10 years or so. So, uh, you know, I have a, I, I'm, I'm pretty good with working with those and this is entirely new to me and there's some similarities and some differences. I think another couple of years and I'll probably have it about figured out. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on the oil burner and uh, a shout out to uh, Oil Burner on YouTube for um, all of his videos and uh, showing me, you know, how he has his setup done so that I can figure out a setup for, for my shop. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.